first you might think he's an up-and-coming actor, but Paul Iacono has been acting since he could form words. The very talented 21-year-old is now taking on the role of a nerdy high school sophomore in MTV's new hit show, The Hard Times of R.J. Berger. Could you guys knock it off for one night? What are you talking about, bud? Mommy and I were just hanging a picture. My name is R.J. Berger. Nature made me scrawny and weird-looking. Awkward and pale. It's official. I'm God's urinal cake. Nature did a lot of things. You think you could disrespect me, huh? But it also gave me a gift. And today, Paul's right here in our studio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Leslie. So you have to tell us about your character. RJ is uh, sort of your, your typical, you know, loser, nobody kid in high school. He's never really been noticed before and um, you know in the first episode his basketball shorts fall down at the big game and you know we the audience and, and everyone in the school learns that RJ is packing some heat downstairs he's extremely well endowed good way to put it yep. yeah and um, uh, he is uh, exceptionally large and and it's it's you know it's it's not always a bed of roses from there on in uh, sometimes is that a little embarrassing well, um, you know, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot worse roles that I could be cast in. So, uh, you know, R RJ's, RJ sort of has this, this um, awkward journey um, filled with, you know, sexual misadventures and whatnot of, you know, learning how to master um, this, this gift of his. And obviously he deals with girls and popularity and then bullies, too. Bullies, too. Um, Do you, you think know. that teens are going to be able to relate? Absolutely. I mean, Hard Times is, is, is essentially, it's, it's, it's an underdog story. You know, it's the story of, of a kid just, just, you know, little guy against the world kind of thing. And this little guy just happens to have a, a big guy backing him up. So. And how was your own high school experience? Um, I went to the High School of Performing Arts here in Manhattan. Um, so you're doing exactly what your high school <laughs> wanted you yeah, to do. Exactly, yeah. Um, Went, went to the Performing Arts High School and a uh, bit, bit more theatrical than your, than your normal high school experience, but still, you know, a lot of the same normalities. Um, Is there it, any advice that you'd give teens in high school now? You know, it's, it's, all about, it's all about just being honest to who you are, and, and that takes time, you know, and, and, and some of us get to that a little bit earlier than others, and, you know, some of us are still figuring it out. But it really essentially is just sort of owning who you are and letting your freak flag wave. And as you said, you went to acting in high school, but you've been acting since you were really young, right? Yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing this since since I was as far back as I can remember, practically. And uh, it's what I love, and very very happy with uh, with the show. And you you can sing, and you do all that as well. Yeah, yeah. I started off um, I started off impersonating Frank Sinatra as like a four year old. Um, a four. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're when you're from Secaucus, New Jersey. You don't really have much other choice, and uh, but to listen to Sinatra, and I sort of picked it up and ran with it from there, and yeah. Wow. So, what do you like more about acting? Do you like it on stage and movies and your show? I think I'll always gravitate towards um, towards stage acting, just because it's it's what I've grown up with and it's sort of what home is to me. Um, but I have found a a real appreciation and love for the craft of film and TV acting. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. And you can check out Paul on the hard times of R.J. Berger on MTV Monday nights at 10 p.m. And